well the results are in and Scots have decided to opt out of independence. So what have the campaign leaders got to say? And Scotland has, by majority, decided not at this stage to become an independent country. I accept that verdict of the people and I call on all of Scotland to follow suit in accepting the democratic verdict of the people of Scotland. A turnout of 86% is one of the highest in the democratic world for any election or any referendum in history. This has been a triumph for the democratic process and for participation in politics. Secondly, the Unionist parties made vows late in the campaign to devolve more powers to Scotland. Scotland will expect these to be honoured in rapid course. So now it is time for our United Kingdom to come together and to move forward. A vital part of that will be a balanced set settlement, fair to people in Scotland and, importantly, to everyone in England, Wales and Northern Ireland as well. And it was right that we respected the SNP's majority in Holyrood and gave the Scottish people their right to have their say. Let us also remember why it was right to ask the definitive question, yes or no. Because now the debate has been settled for a generation. We have delivered on devolution under this government and we will do so again in the next parliament. The three pro-union parties have made commitments, clear commitments, on further powers for the Scottish Parliament. We will ensure that those commitments are honoured in full. Well, thanks for joining us and for more analysis on what this means for you, check out ibtimes.co.uk.